morning good morning good morning terrence lewis with lewis helps all right today's the day the concrete video um if you guys aren't following already instagram did a concrete job how i got ten thousand dollar concrete job done for twenty nine hundred bucks that's the video right here my dude coming up let's get to it all right guys so check it out we got some new concrete walkways here we got uh, some pilings being put in i told you guys if you're following on instagram if you're not you need to go over there and follow because this is where i show you guys how i'm doing a lot of concrete work and a lot of construction at fractions of the of, of the costs uh, that it would take so i'm going to walk you guys through it here really quick and show you what we're doing show you um this video is more particularly how exactly i'm getting these things done for fairly you know less than half of what it would cost any of you guys to do it let me show you what we got here so we're just putting a block wall here some columns in the front of the property and then then eventually obviously put a gate up here um, for that but i'm gonna talk to you guys to show you guys a couple other of the pads that i put down so basically what i did man is um you know i'm gonna get right to it like so I'll show, basically for these columns that he's putting in there, I'll, set, I'll, tell, I'll explain to you guys some of the quotes that I got just so that way I can, that way I had something to compare it to. But those two columns right there were 2,500 bucks for them to put them in if you were to have somebody come and put those columns in. Um, this walkway right here, we're putting grass in so it's kind of slowly getting there. But this walkway right here was, um, he was gonna hook me up for a thousand bucks. Right, so a thousand bucks to do this concrete walkway right here. Now that wasn't stamped. If you look, see it's stamped. And so that stamp typically costs extra, there's a premium. Okay, now we're on a, I got a little ranch here. So we got, we got guinea fowls, we got horses, we got turkeys, we got dogs, we got everything. So you guys are just gonna have to bear with the noise. I got the lapel mic on, so. Now, obviously the little, guinea fowl come around and scratch everything up but this right here is a pad that I have poured as well you can see it's stamped okay it's not cleaned up but it's stamped I'm gonna go give this dog some attention it's just gonna keep whining I don't know if I'll put that there so how did I get these things done first of all how much did I pay right so all concrete pads i'll walk around to the other couple pads that we're doing but all the concrete pads that i put down on this property now obviously i flip houses right so i do concrete all the time but this was a good opportunity because i'm flipping out of state now so this is a good opportunity to show you guys how i do it because that's the thing that sucks about me being in another state flipping in another state is that i don't get to be intimate with my properties i don't get to be there each and every day all right boy go get it I just have him tied up just because uh, there's a, obviously people here and he'll bite them. But anyway, so let me show you guys a couple of the other pads that we did. So anyway, you know, being able that I'm fixing up my own personal property, my own ranch, and now I can share this video with you guys on how I do these things, how I sub out jobs and get them done. So we had $1,000 for the walkway. Stay to the end because I actually paid 2,900 bucks for all of the work that was done, okay? got some steps here now I did a little house hack right so I put a little a little renter here you know so um, you know if you guys are looking for more information about how house hacking obviously tap in this is where you want to subscribe this is where you want to be because I do this a lot I help a lot of people I actually shooting a video right now of one one of my other students that I helped or not students not partners students not you know partners not students so we did this little concrete pad here and that's for the horse wash so we're going to put some posts on the side of it and um that's we'll have like a little pad on top and that's where you'll you know tie your horse up wash him up and then this master my master suite here i poured a little pad here which i could have went over so keep take note of this pad right here because this is where i this is where i messed up Okay, not because of how it was poured, but I'll explain to you guys how I overpaid. I paid 2,900 bucks for all of these concrete pads. This is over, 
how many yards this was about 13 yards so typically a typical homeowner would probably pay somewhere around ten to twelve thousand dollars for all that work that was done especially because it was stamped now how did i get it done for 2900 bucks and i overpaid by 500 bucks five or six hundred bucks right so first and foremost let me close this up because if not my animals would be all over the front yard not necessarily a bad thing but they eat up all the flowers and when you got goats and alpacas and stuff they'll eat up everything so anyway so how did i get it for 2900 dollars first first thing that you have to know is you have to understand how construction works you have to understand how the the contractor is hiring these guys right and what what consists of your bid your bid consists of a the labor the person the people that are doing the job be the material and see the contractor's cost what he wants to pay what he wants to get paid for doing this job right so now obviously if you're doing it yourself you're eliminating his cost so what's left is the cost of the laborers how to get them and the price of the material price of material was easy all i had to do was call the local supply you just google concrete supply company near me and voila there you go now now you, they're going to ask you two questions how much concrete do you need and what what psi what type do you need so that's where the tricky part comes in right so how do you get that information well you get that information from your sub your subs right and so how do you find your subs okay well there's a lot of cool easy ways that you can actually find subs you can actually go on um, um, Facebook marketplace right and then you can go and search for concrete work needing to be done and you can just message those people and say hey look man I want to uh, this is what I want to do I want to see if you can come over I'm paying by the day and I want to see if you can come over and take a look at the job okay so there's that way um, obviously you have to finagle yourself through this project as you have to know some information you can't this is not something for those of you that's like I just know nothing right like you have to be an inquisitive individual if you don't know that you need to figure out you know and Google and search how to lay concrete tips things that are needed do you need rebar in there if you do what sizes right so if you're gonna be a GC on your job you have to know the basic foundations of what things need to be done I need to know that he needs to make sure these center blocks are centered. I need to know that he's going to use mortar to put the blocks going up. I need to know what size block he needs to use, and I need to know that he needs to fill it with rebar. If he's going to do footings, I need to know what size footings. Now, how do I get that information? Obviously, years of experience doing this, but how do you get this information? You ask questions, and you ask questions, and you ask questions until you get the same consistent answers, and you feel comfortable with that job. Obviously, you don't go into a 13-yard pour, but if you just want to start with one pad, boom you know what I mean that's very simple to do so you can put out ads on Facebook you can put out ads on Craigslist and as you're hiring somebody for the day and you put things in there like must have their own tools right and must have experience and so you detract all those individuals that are just hustlers that are like I can go lay that brick right like you get you put the verbiage in there as to where somebody that's reading it is going to say you know what like I can do this job I have what it takes. You can't just leave it for a guy that can just drive up in a Prius and say, hey, I can do that brickwork. Where's the material? This guy shows up, he has his material to cut the rebar, he has his material to, to lay down the, the block walls, he has his uh, leveler, he has all the material. So when I see him and he pulls up, I know this guy's ready to work. He has what he needs to do this job. This is nothing new to him. He's not trying to ask me questions about how I want it. He can clearly see what's going on here. If I have any instructions for him, I can give them to him, but he knows what's up and I feel confident he knows what's up. And so I can let him work for the day and get this job done. So you got to have those key elements to it, too. Right. Um, so you have Craigslist where you're hiring somebody, you have Facebook Marketplace, and then you just have I'm driving down the road. And on my street, obviously, I'm in an area where it's a lot of development. So I stop on the side of the road and there's the city workers and they're doing concrete work. Right. So I could pull up and just say, hey, bro, you guys looking for a weekend job, something you want to do on the weekend or on the side. I got a project, you and a couple buddies. Now, that's another thing. You find one good guy, you find all the guys that you need, because just like your career or anybody else, if you know a skill or a trade or you do something, you know, a lot of other people that do it. So when you find one good guy, you find all the guys that you need. OK, in that field. So concrete guys know the concrete guys and the finishers. So now with concrete, there's two different guys that you need. There's a framer, the guy that's gonna frame, that 
the, the, the shape that you need and level it and make sure it's compacted and how you need it. And then there's the finisher. So all I had to do was hire a guy to come do the framework. He came, framed it all out, and then that framer is going to actually be skilled, should be skilled, in giving you guys the amount of concrete that's needed. So he's going to take measurements of the depth, the width, the length, and he's going to add it up and say, you need X amount of yards. Now you can call the concrete company, get the price on the truck coming with those, that amount of yards, and set up your workers to come. Now, this is, the, this is the tricky part. You order concrete and those guys don't show up, you're still paying for that concrete. So this is the, this is the con of that. If you're not experienced enough to know and schedule your truck right, then you end up paying $1,000 for a truck and not having your workers here because they're gonna go to another job that's gonna pay more or you found some rip wraps or whatever it is, then you're stuck with that. Now you're working backwards, you paid $1,000. So what I do is I actually have them come and I leave a little bit of framework for them to do that morning. So we had the walkway framed out, we had the columns dug, we had the courtyard done, but then I didn't do the back patio or the tenant's walkway area. And so they'll come that morning and then I'll order the truck when they get here for a 12 o'clock, a 12 o'clock pour. Now you would think like, oh, it's, a, you know, it's gonna push the day off. It took them all of three or four hours to do pour, finish and texture all 13 yards. So, and you're gonna pay, you're paying them by the day. And it typically runs here in California, 250 to $300 a day. This guy's 300 bucks a day. So that's where you break down your cost. So now I'm paying a thousand dollars for the truck and I'm paying another, I got, you're gonna have, they're gonna recommend and tell you how many guys that you need. They're gonna say, hey, you know, for a 13 yard pour, on average, it's about, for every 10 yards, it's about two guys. If you're doing stamping then you know you want to have a third guy and then sometimes they'll have a guy just to help them pour but if you're handy you can get out there and help them pour help them move their tools around and do some of the things that's needed to help them out now I told you I would share with you guys how I overpaid I paid 2,900 bucks the total bid before these guys did it was probably 12 grand so how did I overpay by almost 600 bucks okay so let me take you over to this noisy, noisy dog and show you guys how um, I tried to cut cost, but actually end up losing money, right? Um, and so you guys can learn from my mistakes, right? Um, and then I'll share with you guys how I could have fixed that so that way you don't, um, you don't have that. Now, typically when you pour concrete, you've took some concrete up, right? So demo is another thing, right? You can just hire people to come demo it. I got a local guy that has a tractor. He just charges me a hundred bucks an hour. He came and tore up all the concrete of the old walkways, all the jacked up areas. And so because I live on two and a half acres, I don't have to pay $1,500 to demo that, or, you know, haul that stuff away. Because as you see, that was half of the poor budget. So I have space and I can just put my concrete there and store it there until I want to haul it away. And I'm glad I didn't because I can actually take it down there because my property slopes a little bit and that's just some unused land. So if we take that and push it all down there and then I backfill it with dirt, I can take unusable sloped land and actually make it level. I can put horses on there. I can put whatever I want to put on there. Okay. Now what we did was we took a lot of these old blocks and we filled it in the steps. So if you've seen those steps over there and then the steps outside of the tenant's walkway, and I'll show you guys some footage if I edit it into it, we filled that in. So what happened was when we were at the third pad that we're pouring, the first truck was here and the guy said, go ahead and order those other three yards that we need. So when you order another truck, this are, you're already starting off with 450 bucks just to have the truck come out, right? So whether he has 10 yards on the truck or he has two yards on the truck, he's coming for 500 bucks. So we actually finished all of the pads except for these footings with the one truck. So instead of the other truck, I paid about 700 bucks for that truck. And all we did was pour the footings for that walkway. Now, at the time, obviously, when you have a lot of stuff going on, you're just like, we're done, send them away. But what I should have did was I should have had those guys, remember that pad in the back I showed you? I should have had them extend that pad out because we let the guy drive away with two yards. That's like five, $600 worth of stuff of, with, with the concrete. So I could have had A, him, them frame out that back walkway 
our, our patio and extend that patio out further because when you have the truck, you have the truck. He's there for you. He's, if he's got to wait another 45 minutes while they frame up a, a pad for you, then he's going to wait, right? You, you, you run your job. So I could have extended that walkway and added more value to my property. Um, or A, I could have paid more attention and not ordered that much concrete and, and maybe done these pads. If I would have just did the one truck, I wouldn't have paid the additional 700 bucks. And I would have done these columns and the footings and done the driveway in the next pour. Or I could have, instead of ordering two yards, order eight yards and had them pour the driveway, the front entryway from the columns to the street and have them stamp it and doing everything. Because my price that I paid for these guys is the price that I'm paying. Whether they're gonna work for six hours or four hours, I paid the same price. So I lost out because I could have A, done more concrete or B, done, uh, not ordered the second truck and done this on a separate day, a separate pour. So there's my tips. There's my concrete pour. Um, this is how I got it done. I hope this was helpful. I don't want to make this video extensively long, but I know this is some good information. So as far as the stamps and stuff like that, when you're hiring a guy, you just ask him, does he have stamps? And just, you know, negotiate the price. I just paid another hundred bucks for them to go and stamp everything. It seems like a big deal when they try to make it seem like, oh, we'll stamp it like this, we'll stamp it like that. That shit is easy. They just put the pad down, spray some diesel fuel on the back of it, pack it down, they're out of there, right? It takes seconds. It's really simple stuff, but it's a, it's something that they use to get more money, okay? So I think I covered all the bases, the cost. So in essence, I took a ten, twelve thousand dollar job and done it for, could have did it for twenty two, twenty four hundred bucks. So hopefully this was helpful. Um, for more information, make sure you guys tap in on the IG channel. That's where we're gonna. That's where I'm showing these, this, this project being done. So you can see in my feed each and every day as I go into properties and show you more information on how to rehab and how to um, you know cut costs and how to do this thing um, I do here with real estate flipping. 17 years of experience, hopefully here to help you guys out. And uh, for more information, you know what it is. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit that button, share if you need to. If you know anybody needs it, it's Terrence Lewis, Lewis Helps. I'm out.